Hey busy bees, it's Zong and today we're back for day four of our 30 days of healthy eating for busy bees like you. Today I'm making another really simple yet flavorful and delicious recipe. It's a Greek inspired chicken souvlaki quinoa bowl. That's like a mouthful. <laughs> but. There's a lot of different components to this. You can feel free to mix and match, add or take out whatever you want. The idea today is just to simply give you some inspiration to create your own grain bowls. Grain bowls are great because you can kind of mix and match, customize, add, take out whatever you want. If you guys are excited for this 30 days of healthy eating, we're already more than 10% through. Yes, we can do it guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button below and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for healthy eating in the new year. I'm gonna go ahead and start by marinating our chicken. I chose to go with a Greek inspired quinoa bowl because all the ingredients are super clean and to marinate this chicken really only needs five to six ingredients. I'll start by mixing the marinade in my bowl. Here I have two tablespoons of olive oil, three cloves of minced garlic, half a lemon's juice, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of kosher salt, a little bit of freshly cracked pepper, and we'll mix, mix, mix. And that's it for our marinade. Now I'm gonna add two chicken breasts that I've already cubed up. We're gonna be skewering these later, so we want them bite-sized. I'll add the chicken to my marinade, Mix it well, making sure each chicken piece is coated in this delicious marinade. And we'll set it aside for 20 minutes. Our chicken is marinating, so now I'm gonna work on our tzatziki sauce. You can totally buy tzatziki sauce at the grocery store, but I had a lot of Greek yogurt left over from the overnight oats, so I'm gonna use it up. To make this is super easy as well. You only have like six ingredients. Here I have half a cup of grated cucumbers, but make sure to get rid of any excess water from the cucumbers because it'll really water down our sauce. In a bowl, I'll add my cucumbers, along with one clove of minced garlic, one tablespoon of freshly chopped mint, one tablespoon of fresh dill. The fresh herbs will really make this sauce pop. One cup of Greek yogurt, the juice of half a lemon, and salt and pepper to taste. I'll mix it all up. And that's it for our tzatziki sauce. As you let it sit, the flavors will really develop, but let me first give it a taste. Mm, mm. Nice and tangy, and the cucumbers also give it that pop of freshness. Now let's move on to our next component, our Greek salad. So here we have all the ingredients for a simple Greek salad. I'm gonna start with the dressing first. I have one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. I'll add it to my bowl. Half a teaspoon of dried oregano, a little bit of salt and pepper, and two tablespoons of olive oil. I'll mix it up. And then I'll start adding our salad ingredients. I'll add in one cup of cucumbers chopped up. Here I'm using one Persian cucumber because I like the crunch. One cup of cherry tomatoes. One cup of cubed feta. A little bit of chopped red onions. And a little bit of Kalamata olives. Give it a toss. And that's it for our Greek salad. I love how colorful it looks too. All right, that is it for most of our prepping. I'm gonna move back to our chicken and skewer it, cook it, and we'll assemble our quinoa bowl. I have some wooden skewers here and I'm just gonna thread the chicken onto each one. I'll place it on my baking sheet lined with aluminum foil, finish it off, And we'll broil it in the oven for about 10 minutes. 
five minutes on each side. I'm broiling this because it'll give it that intense heat and char the top. It's gonna be beautiful. And our chicken is done. Oh, it smells so good. And broiling the chicken like this is a great alternative to grilling in the winter time. All right, now let's assemble our quinoa bowl, finally. So here's some quinoa that I've already cooked according to the package's direction. I like it really fluffy, so this looks perfect. A lot of you guys asked me to make quinoa because you have a ton lying around. This is a really great superfood. I'll scoop some into my bowls, add a good amount of veggies, Greek salad into the bowl, a chicken skewer for each one, some tzatziki sauce, and finally two more things that I like to add to my bowl. Some fire roasted red bell peppers, and I guess this one's mixed with yellow, and some microgreen sprouts. I've really been into these lately. And our bowls are finally done. I know a lot of work went into this, but it's really worth it. You can kind of separate each of the components and use it for different meals. Plus, if you make enough, it'll last all week. Now it's time to dig in. having this for lunch today and I am one happy camper. Oh, this is so good. Another alternative, if you guys don't like quinoa or don't have it on hand, you can totally make a chicken souvlaki pita with it. Just get a pita, spread the tzatziki sauce, add the Greek salad, chicken, and you have yourself a complete sandwich. The variety is endless. I hope you guys like this recipe today. Comment below and let me know how you would enjoy it. Tomorrow we are gonna be making five vitamin water. Stay tuned because it'll keep you hydrated and have all the essential minerals that is good for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys wanna see more healthy videos for the next 26 days, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys later. Bye!